Well, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. I got, uh, there's the horses. They're always in a bad mood. <laughs> Except for when it rains. I don't know. They get crazy when it starts to rain. But I got Blue with me today. What are you doing, buddy? You want to get up here in the front? Ah, anyway. So we're going to head to... Uh, I'm leaving the house now. We're going to... There he is. Hey, buddy. You want to look for the camera? <laughs> oh, it's bumpy. All right. <laughs> it's fun to watch a dog try to keep balance. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. Anyway, all right, so we're going to head to uh, go get some breakfast this morning. And then Oscar's over there at the... Uh, dirt job they started this morning about seven o'clock we actually i was wrong yesterday um we were able to get i believe nine trucks so they should get a fair amount of that other dirt done it's a couple less trucks than yesterday and it's a little bit more dirt than yesterday to haul out but anyway so we're uh so i may go check on him a little later today because the dozer i was using yesterday was getting pretty low on fuel so I need to go probably top it off or fill it up. Not top it off, fill it up. Um, Cause Oscar's got fuel for his, for the 350 to load the truck. So, all right, so I'm gonna hit the road and go get some breakfast. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Nah, uh, we just left Bojangles and I've <laughs> got all the food down there and watching this dog resist trying to get down there. It's hilarious. And I wanted to stop at the, uh, convenience store to get an energy drink but then i thought twice about that because the last thing i need to do is leave a dog in here with five gravy biscuits uh unattended so all right let's head to the house all right so it's saturday i didn't plan on coming over here i thought they were going to have somebody running the uh dozer today but i guess miscommunication nobody showed up so um i like that guy right there that guy he's good uh pretty cool guy so i'm gonna once he gets out of here i'm gonna go over there and oscar's done a pretty good job with the bucket pulling it back but i'm gonna take the dozer and kind of cut it a little bit uh, i don't know what grade is here so i'm not gonna dig too much they can fine tune that once the dirt's gone so i'm gonna let this uh dozer warm up and i'm gonna go there and start pushing some of the dirt Alright guys, I tell you what, this is the most entertaining stuff. I have some of the craziest conversations with people sometimes. So there's a apartment complex right there. And it's Saturday. I understand everybody's trying to sleep in. But <laughs> there was a guy that come, and I'm not trying to be a smart aleck, but there was a guy that come over here in his pajamas and said he wanted to talk to the supervisor. And I said, well, I guess for today that's going to be me. He said, um well how long are y'all going to be doing this because i'm tired of listening to that beeper i've been listening to it since seven o'clock this morning and i said well that's interesting you've heard this dozer since seven because i'm the only one that's ran it and i just got here an hour ago and it's 10 o'clock and he said well i'm just tired of hearing this noise so y'all gonna work every saturday and i said well we haven't been working saturdays and i'll be done uh today with the dirt or monday he said, I just get off every Friday and I want some sleep and I can't sleep with all this noise. It's like, look, man, this was an abandoned car wash with like vagrants hanging out in it. I said, now it's going to be like usable space. It's going to look better. I don't know. People are, people are entertaining. I guess he thought I was going to apologize, shut down nine trucks and two machines because he, he couldn't sleep, I, I guess. And I, like, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I mean, look, man, it's Saturday you're in a booming economy where we're at in this corridor of 85. So it doesn't matter where you live or where you go. You're going to hear machinery on Saturday. But anyway, I thought that was entertaining. But yeah, we're rocking out trucks. I got Oscar loading the trucks a little better now. He was, uh, he's not used to doing this type of loading. So I showed him a little better way. He's going to dig out 
here, have the trucks over here, dig this dirt, and I'm gonna push it to him, and he's just gonna walk along the pile before he was trying to dig off the front and load, and it was making a mess, but we got it squared away, so he's doing good. So uh, let me get back to push some dirt for him. All right, so I got him, you can kind of see where I've pushed all this dirt up to him and then pushed this way, so the trucks will back up here and he'll just keep scooping off this side and kind of work his way through the pile. I don't know how far he'll get today, guys. That's every bit of 150 plus loads sitting there. Um, but the story, and uh, that's the dozer we were running today. It's a, uh, a D51, whatever they call it, XP or whatever they call it, PXI or whatever. But um, definitely got more power than that 39. I mean, the 39 is nice because it's compact. And you can haul it behind a, like a F550 type thing. But yeah, this thing definitely got, and this one's got the grade control and all that jazz on it. But uh, it gets more interesting because the guy that, one of the drivers that, uh, well, the one I was talking about in the first of this video, he asked me if I would go buy their lunch. So I, he gave me their his card and we went and picked up some, I think Church's Chicken. I don't know if y'all have that everywhere. That's watching this, but around here we got a place called Church's Chicken. So I went and picked that up. But yeah, entertaining to say the least. But good news is I think the rain's holding off to like five or six, so they'll get a full day today as long as the drivers hold out for me and don't leave. But, uh, and then my buddy over there in the apartments that didn't like the sound, I was tempted because who in their right mind that has their day off on a Saturday is gonna tell a man that's having to work on a Saturday as if he wants to actually be here working to tell him that he's disturbing him. I, I feel like he's barking to the wrong person, to be honest, it's a little entertaining. So I thought about putting the dozer in reverse and just let it sit there and beep. <laughs> but no, nah, I won't do that. I'm, I'll be better than that. I'll be the bigger person. But um, all right, guys, well, that'll probably be it for the job site today as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'm waiting for my wife to get back with their, the driver's food and I'm going to get out of here because Oscar should be able to maintain um, somewhat level grade and the trucks don't have to back over there on that part anyway where he's digging so it should be set. So I'll, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to get out of here as soon as she gets back. That just shows you how big that pile of dirt is, how much taller he is than those trucks. I don't think some of these drivers know who I am standing here, so they think I'm a, I'm like my buddy across the street in the apartment just standing here complaining. <laughs> I'm gonna call the city. <laughs> how dare y'all be making noise at lunchtime. I'm gonna get off here. I gotta go talk with that driver whose food I got. They screwed up his order and overcharged them, so I gotta explain what happened. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. Daddy. Nice. All right, we made it back to the house. Uh, Blue's got a, apparently a pair of one of my <laughs> my kids' underwear in his mouth. I don't know how he got those, but anyway. We made it back to the house. Oscar's over there wrapping the day up and stuff. I'm going to hang out the rest of the afternoon with the kids, let them do their bikes, and I might even break out the grill. I don't know. We'll see. That requires too much work. But, uh, oh, and this trailer, I got to get it de lettered. Um, it's going to be for sale. It's a 20 yeah, foot, 8 foot. Roscoe. Yeah, Roscoe being silly. Yeah, he's really kind of Yeah, well, it's funny. I think he just peed right there. He's rolling around in it. 
All right, so anyway, so, but yeah, I'm gonna sell that thing. It's an eight by 20 V nose or something like that, but with barn doors on it. But uh, anyway, so, uh, but that's it. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. If not, I'll see y'all Monday. Those underwear good, buddy. <laughs>